at all this gray. This is crazy! I've been going gray. After several weeks of quarantine, everyone, celebs included, are seriously missing their hairstylist. Because I was able to get my hair colors to send me my color and I'm gonna try and do it myself. That'll be an interesting Insta story, right? Um, I'm, probably okay. gonna, I'm probably gonna need my husband to do the back of my roots, right? <laughs> So ET staffers are taking one for the team, testing some of the latest at-home hair color products to fix common quarantine hair struggles. So my problem is I have gray hairs, but I don't have full-blown gray roots. I have, that I hide them by, by parting my hair this way. I have these wiry gray hairs, I don't know if you can see them, that really like are all over the place. I have not been able to keep up my blonde at all because I've not been able to go to a salon to get professionally done. I would love to try and do that at home, but there's just gonna be no way without me possibly ruining my scalp or hurting myself. So instead, we're gonna head and go back to natural. As you can see, it is definitely taken its toll on my look here because the blonde is definitely losing this battle against the black. I have never colored my hair before, ever. Not in a salon, not myself, literally never. Uh, I've always had this dark color and the only reason that I have decided I need to start doing something is because of these, these crazy grays. This will be a first time for me to uh, dye my own hair. Like I go to a salon, I have a friend that does my hair a really great job, uh, but obviously I can't see him right now. This is the DP Hue Root Touch-Up Kit. Um, and this is supposed to be to help you cover grays in between your hair color appointments. Um, it's not meant to be an all over hair color. Um, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna try out. So I bought the color dark brown. E.T. Style sent me a Madison Reed kit uh, that will get me back to black. This is a full kit. The whole box, every piece of it is part of this kit. I actually thought that was quite neat. It says, we believe confident is the new beautiful. Well, hopefully this will make me a little bit more confident, even if I'm just at home with the dog. This box uh, includes two applications and each application is supposed to last I think a few shampoos, so it's not permanent, but uh, I wanted to start with something a little less permanent. Okay, I haven't even opened this yet, so let's open it, let's see what's in here, let's discover together. Okay, Root Touch Up Kit. There are pictures, which is great. I love easy directions. Okay, so inside we have this box with some of the products. And this box, this is the actual hair color cream. Let's open this up here. One tube of hair color cream. And what they want you to do is only use half and then save the other half for your second application. And then let's see what's in here. This is the accessories box. All right, so this is all the stuff. Ooh, all the stuff. All right, we got gloves, this must be the cap. So I'm gonna just grab what I need for now. So one of these little bowls, one pair of gloves, one brush, so you're gonna have to wash this and reuse that. And then the rest of the things in here are the developer and shampoo and conditioner. It only comes with one packet of shampoo and conditioner. So we will be using that this first go around. We've got instructions here. Hopefully there are pictures because, yes, there are pictures because I'm gonna need them. We got one set of gloves. We have our bottle here, our conditioning color activator. We've got the radiant cream color right here in this pretty little box. We have our cap also in a pretty little box. Barrier cream. Don't know what this is at all. I'm a little nervous about doing this to be quite honest. I'm not that nervous to try this because I'm not like fully trying to cover up a ton. So I guess like worst case scenario, I just still have gray hair after this. Also, I think the biggest challenge for me is gonna be finding the grays to cover. 
Um, I'm sure I have some in the back that I'm not gonna see and just not gonna be able to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to dig around for them. I think that's gonna be, yeah, there's, oh, there's a big one. So I think my biggest worries right now are just getting dye everywhere. I put on a shirt that I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be super sad about if I, if, I, uh, if I get some dye on it. Let's take this party into the bathroom because I'm sitting at my vanity table. I don't think this is a great place to try <laughs> hair color for the first time. Like it says in the instruction, apply barrier cream to prevent staining on forehead, ears, and neck. First things first. We are gonna mix this color. Okay, this is the dark brown hair color cream. Now, measuring out half is the thing that's gonna be tough. Oh, <gasps> I am so dumb. <laughs> they put a little marker right there for people like me. That is half, that's how you know. Squeeze it in there. Okay, that, what's interesting to me is it's not black. It's coming out a white color into this other white tube. Let's put on our handy dandy gloves. So Madison Reed, they gave an explainer. Usually they uh, give you two pairs of gloves because of the COVID-19 pandemic. They have told you they are only sending one, which is, I think that's pretty cool, pretty neat that they're trying to do their part. Here's a developer packet. Oh wait, did that say to put gloves on? going to get interesting. Um, is it coming out? Or oh, oh, mm, noob. Right here on the top of this, on the top of this uh, bottle, there's one more cap you gotta take off this screw top. What I'm worried about too is the back of my head. That's gonna be interestingly difficult. We can really see now, we're definitely getting this dye on to my hair you can start oh it's oh man it's crazy to see all this blonde starting to disappear okay so i parted my hair in the middle just now so that i can try to keep track of where i'm going so i'm going to clip back that side and i'm going to start on this side of my hair and see if i can see the grays moving on to the other side of my head oh that guy i see one right in the front oh i don't know why i'm using a comb i just realized that's what the end of this is for that's why i'm a rookie <laughs> okay i found one there next we got to put on this black cap okay all right now i feel like i'm back in the salon okay I just finished applying the color, so I'm gonna remove my gloves. So I'm gonna throw this cap on. So let's get these last two things that we need. It is the Madison Reed Color Protecting Shampoo and the Madison Reed Color Protecting Conditioner. So these two guys are gonna go in my hair as soon as I rinse it off. I'm not gonna look at myself in the mirror. I'm gonna go in the shower, rinse this all off, use these two, and then we're gonna come do the reveal and see how this looks. Hopefully I did it right. So last bit of instruction, it says leave cap on for 35 minutes. All right. Very chic. I will see you in 45 minutes. Here we go. Here's the final look. So it looks like it did an excellent job here covering all that blonde. You can't even tell. I haven't got all these little ones right here that I was a little worried I wasn't gonna get. How does the back look? You tell me. <laughs> I can't see. But wow, back to black. So results. I think it did a good job. The person who didn't do a good job was me or the thing that didn't do a good job was me. I missed a couple hairs. So I was inspecting and generally it really got covered a lot of them. Like you can see one right here. I think that's just because I missed it. I don't think it's that the color didn't hold. I think I legit didn't see it. Um, so, but you know, when I part my hair around, um, all the grays we were seeing before are gone. They're not visible. And this like huge patch that I had going on. I mean, look at there's still a few. Okay, so I'm the failure, not the product. <laughs> 
Um, but no, overall, it did a really good job. I have way less grays than I did before. But yeah, check that out.